Now, I decided to invite my mom to the show today uh, to talk about her fitness journey, which she started a little later in life after you retired, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay. I, um, I do. And uh, believe it or not, she is 79, turning 80 this year. <laughs> I've seen you get stronger and stronger because of your fitness, which you do five right. days a week, okay. uh, and your confidence has built as well. Now, she's mm -hmm. not the only mom in the house. Also here with her mom to show us that fitness can happen at any age. Please welcome back Nadia Kordic and Ruby! Yeah. Welcome, Ruby! Thank you. Welcome, Nadia! Thank you. Oh, thank okay, you. all right, so we're gonna just take over, and we're gonna be on our best behavior, Nadia, because our we're mom's try. Right here. Um, and you're saying that this is, you know, when it comes to fitness, of course, fitness at any age is a great idea. It is. Uh, but you want to remind people to be mindful of something specific before they dive into fitness. Absolutely. So the main thing that we should be mindful of is that we consult our healthcare practitioner or our doctor and make sure that all the exercises that we want to do are okay for our bodies. Okay. Yeah. You both work out how many days a week, Ruby? Five days per week. Five days a week, Ooh. Mom? Yeah, five days a week. Yeah. because they're ready and, and uh, yeah. it's safe for them to be working out Absolutely. here with us today. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about uh, preventative measures yeah. so that as uh, everybody ages, which we all inevitably will, we do. Uh, what kind we of do. exercises should we be incorporating? Okay, so the main thing to recognize and, and be mindful of is that as we age, that our, mu <laughs> our muscle deteriorate about uh, three to five percent per decade. So it's really important to strength train. You shouldn't shy away from strength training. Mm -hmm. And st strength training helps maintain our weight, burn calories, things like that. So it's really, really important to maintain strength. So the exercise we're going to do for, day for today is going to be for the 60 and above crowd. But if you have mobility issues, these exercises are great for you as well. So they'll be of service to people who have mobility issues and for the 60 and above crowd. Ladies, you ready to work out? Yeah. yeah, ready to work out? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's go back. Nadia, you have yeah. our first move, and it is called the washing machine into chest press. Okay, so for the washing machine, it's kind of like a washing machine, old school washing machine. So we're just gonna turn side to side like this, and let your arms be really, really loose. And you wanna do, it's sort of like a spinal twist, opening up the spine and warming up our body to get ready for what's to come. Okay, so talk to us about uh, why it's important to warm up with So like it's this. super important to warm up as we age, just in general, but as we, particularly as we age, so it just warms the body for what's to come and helps lubricate, lubricate our joints as well. Okay, this is great. Yeah. All right, yeah. so uh -huh. there, we've done the washing machine. Yeah, everything's we've done the washing washed. machine. Yeah, everything's, everything's washed and, and clean. And we've got another exercise. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna grab our resistance bands right on the chair behind us. Okay. We're gonna go into the chest press, so we grab this, put it underneath our armpits, yeah. Okay. And keep it nice and loose in the front. So it's to your comfort level, right? Okay. So if you mm -hmm. want it a little bit loose, you can hold it right here. And we're gonna squeeze our chest like this, so chest mm -hmm. press, and then come back, and our elbows are in line with our shoulders. Push Ooh. it out just like this. Wow. Yeah. Ruby, you feel this? Yeah, <laughs> you can feel it. You feeling this, Ruby? Yes. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Mom, you feeling this? I do. Oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> elbows are in line with the shoulders. Two, three, four, three. Go ahead, two more. Two, two more. Two more. And one. Oh, oh that's a good burn. chest burn right there. there. Yeah, okay. Absolutely, burn out the chest a little bit. You can toss these aside. Toss for the next exercise, the Daddy, you say we are going to use a chair for yeah. assisted squats. Yeah. So yeah. While, take us through it and why is this an important exercise? Super important because as we get older, older adults have issues sometimes with stability. So the chair provides stability for us. Okay. So we're going to use the chair as a marker to sit down. I should say this, that if, for instance, you can't go down as low as the chair, you can also stand beside it and use it for just support. But we're going right. to sit down on it. Okay. okay? So your okay. hands can be on your waist or it can be on your hip flexors, wherever you feel comfortable. And you're just going to sit down, tap your butt on the chair. Yeah. And then come up and then squeeze your glutes at the top. That's it. How That's long are movement. we staying down here? <laughs> Very <laughs> quick. You just tap it. It's a and tap? Then, yeah, oh. and then come right back up. <laughs> yeah. Bring yes. that back up. Oh, yeah. 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 There How's you that go. feeling? Burn? You feel the burn? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, feel the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's talk, as we continue to squat, yes. uh, talk to us about equipment um, that we could have in the house yeah. to help out with in-home workouts. And that's an excellent question. So if you do not have, let's say, resistance bands or weights at home handy, you can use the wall for wall push-ups. Okay. If you live in a two-story home, you can use the stairs, and you can do at sort of the bottom of the stairs, holding onto the rail and do toe taps. Mm -hmm. And if you've got a broom at home, you can do hip hinges, holding onto the broom, which looks, keep going like that. Okay. You just like, like this, holding onto the broom, and oh. the broom helps you with stability. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So that was, oh. we just did yeah. more squats than most people do. We did, yeah. <laughs> 
done. Absolutely. <laughs> so the next one, uh, you say we're going to use, continue to use our chairs, and this yeah. is seated bicep curl. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay, so we're going to sit down, grab our weights. Okay, hey, just go. for a record, I have three pounders. Mom, yeah. what do you have? You've got uh, one kilo, one so 2.2. Ruby, where are you at? Five. <laughs> She's busting the charts at five She's, pounds. Yeah. And, and I've got three. five. Okay. Yeah. yeah I've got so three. stability is key. So you want to push your back up against uh -huh. the chair. If you don't need, you can sit forward. But generally okay. speaking, for older adults, you want to put your back against the chair. Okay. You're going to length the waist angle to the side. And then come up and twist the top. Yeah, and just do a seated bike bicep curl. OK. Yeah, so I recommend good. anywhere from three to seven pounds for this. It's, once again, your own com comfort level. Um, Ruby, do you do weight training usually? Yes, I do. You yeah. do, you do. Mom, do you do weight training? I do it. It's heavier than this. <laughs> oh, right? heavier. Right? This is yeah. nothing. <laughs> Just for the record, my mom says she uh, uses weights way heavier. Oh, OK, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Mom. <laughs> OK, so this looks great, because we still want to have good, strong arms. Yeah, absolutely. Get older. Yeah. Um, yeah. The next one you're doing is called the single limb stance with arm raises. Yeah. So I guess we put these down. We put these down, okay. we stand up, and we're gonna use the chair just for stability. Okay. So we're gonna stand up right here. This is one of my favorite exercises okay. for older adults. So you're gonna raise your right arm up, and you're gonna raise your right foot up like this. And as you come forward, your leg mimics your, mimics your arm. And you're just gonna lean forward, hinge, and then come right back up to standing. There Ooh, you this go. Is cool. And if you wanna increase the level of difficulty for this, <laughs> you can grab a weight and put it in your right hand. Oh, now you get yeah. fancy. <laughs> you get fancy. Range so, of motion is something that I know as we all get older, it usually starts to decrease. Yeah. So what can we do to make sure our, our muscles stay loose and flexible? So really, really, really important, you can make sure that you will just loosen yourself up for range of motion, okay. because like you said, as it, as it starts to de decrease as we get older, so just keep things really, really loose. Okay. Definitely. Ladies, how you are you still with us? <laughs> I know. Yeah. 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 There you go. You're doing so well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so mom, I know you have arthritis, and she, yeah, in the knee, which it happens. <laughs> Um, and oftentimes, even when it comes to things like bone density, yeah. a lot of that stuff starts to decrease, particularly as we age and after menopause. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Okay, yeah. so you've got an exercise to continue to help with, again, flexibility and strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is the shoulder rotation. Okay. We're going to shoulder rotation. So we're going to stand right in front of the chair. Okay. And we're going to put our arms out like this, and we're just going to rotate the shoulders down and back. Yeah, just Ooh, like that this. just feels down good. and back. Yeah. So this is great for shoulder, uh, ro um, like just shoulder, mm. shoulder strength. Yep. Just it's opening good. things up. Yeah, it should feel good, right? Good. So down and back, down and back. And you were talking about do bone density. Really, really important that you increase things like this and just keep moving your shoulders and keep mm -hmm. moving, ranging range of motion. Uh, can important. I leave the last word with the moms? Um, yeah. What's one piece of advice you have that you've learned? Um, to keep a really healthy lifestyle, Ruby? Uh, start exercising early. Early. <laughs> yeah. Early. Okay. Early. Good advice. Good advice. Good yeah. advice. Mom, what's a piece of advice that you have uh, you can pass along? Well, eat well. Eat healthy. That's well. also a good yes. piece of advice. Yeah. That too. Yeah, absolutely. Listen up the moms. Nadia, Ruby, Mom, Claire, thank you uh -huh. all so much. Yeah. joining us in this workout. We really appreciate it. If you want a list of all of these workouts, we will put them up on our website right after the show. We'll be back after this.